हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल श्री स्वामीनारायण फिजियोथेरेपी कॉलेज रानी अहमदाबाद आई एम डॉक्टर सुमन मलुकानी टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लंबर वर्टिब्रा द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम इज कंपोज ऑफ थर्टी थ्री वर्टिब्रा एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटरवर्टिब्रल डिस्क डिवाइडेड इंटू फाइव डिस्टिंक रीजन्स सर्वाइकल थोरासिक लंबर सीक्रल एंड कॉक्सीजल लंबर रीजन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स फाइव लंबर वर्टिब्रा द फर्स्ट फोर लंबर वर्टिब्रा आर सिमिलर इन स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फिफ्थ वर्टिब्रा हैज स्ट्रक्चरल अडाप्टेशन फॉर इट्स आर्टिकुलेशन विद सेक्रम लेट इज नाउ सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ टिपिकल लंबर वर्टिब्रा अ टिपिकल वर्टिब्रा हैज टू मेजर पार्ट्स एंटीरियर वर्टिब्रल बॉडी एंड पॉस्टीरियर न्यूरल और वर्टिब्रल आर्च अ टिपिकल लंबर वर्टिब्रल बॉडी इज मैसिव The transverse diameter is more as compared to the AP diameter. It is also more in height as compared to the vertebral body of other regions of the spine. Vertebral body is the weight bearing structure of spinal column. The posterior or the neural vertebral arch has two major parts. One is the pedicle and the rest of the posterior elements. Pedicles are the bridge between the anterior vertebral body. and the posterior neural or vertebral arch the pedicles in the lumbar region are oriented posterior laterally the weight transmission from the posterior elements occurs through the pedicle towards the anterior vertebral body coming over to the posterior element it constitutes transverse processes articular processes superior and inferior spinous process and lamina The transverse processes of a typical lumbar vertebra are long and horizontal. The spinous processes of the typical lumbar vertebra are broad, thick and horizontal. Both transverse processes and spinous processes provide site for muscular attachment. These are the superior articular processes, inferior articular processes also called as zygomorphic articular process or facets. The superior articular processes articulate with adjacent cranial vertebra and the inferior articular processes articulate with adjacent caudal vertebra the orientation of the lumbar articular surfaces is more predominant in the sagittal plane so that the flexion extension movements are more predominant over the lumbar region these are the laminas laminas are more central and form the point of origin for rest of the posterior elements the laminas are oriented vertically and the pedicles are oriented horizontally laminas transfer the force from rest of the posterior elements to the pedicle through which it is transmitted to the anterior vertebral body the part of the lamina from where the transmission of forces occurs from vertical orientation to horizontal orientation is called as pars interarticularis pars interarticularis is situated between the superior and the inferior articular surfaces the vertebral foramen of a typical lumbar vertebra are triangular in shape the transverse diameter is more as compared to the ap diameter thank you everyone do like share and subscribe to our channel